Mr. David Lammy. All members of this House, uh, across this House, will have mentored, employed and want to see flourish young people. Um, my wife principally, but and I, mentored, employed and encouraged a young woman called Khadija Say, who lost her life with her mother on the 20th floor of Grenfell Tower. I spoke to her father on Tuesday um, and he described the, with anguish, obviously, losing his only daughter and we had a discussion about how he would cope in going to the mortuary to visit his daughter um, in the state that clearly she is in. On their behalf and all of the people that died, I urge the Prime Minister to say something more about the criminal investigation that was announced last week. She has talked about the public inquiry, but she understands that most people see this as a crime and they know that rich and powerful organisations get away with crime. Can she say what resources have been brought to bear for the Metropolitan Police? How big are the teams? And why is it that we have not had any commentary about charges, about arrests, or about the seizure of documents? Can I first of all say how sorry I am to hear that the Right Honourable Gentleman has lost somebody, uh, a friend, in this terrible tragedy? There are obviously many people in that position, but it brings it home to this House uh, in, and right into this chamber. Uh, he mentioned the issue of bereavement. If I could just mention that there is a family bereavement centre uh, now opened which um, provides uh, uh, a suitable place in which people can be counselled uh, in relation to this matter. And there is a great deal of thought and care being undertaken in relation to those families who will obviously be wanting to see um, bodies of those who have died in the fire. This is a very sensitive and difficult matter, as I'm sure all members of this House will recognise, and uh, every action is being taken to do this as sensitively and thoughtfully as possible <coughs> with the consideration of those who've lost loved ones. Uh, in relation to the criminal investigation, the criminal investigation has been opened by the Metropolitan Police. The, the, the right gentleman invites me to comment on that in a whole variety of ways. As he will know, this is an operational matter for the Metropolitan Police. It is for them to determine any point at which they are, have evidence which could lead uh, to prosecutions or to charges or prosecutions. We must let the Met do their job. They are doing it carefully, uh, they are doing it properly, but I can assure him and others that they will get to the truth and they will leave no stone unturned and if there are charges and prosecutions to be made, then they will be. You are from the Fire Brigades Union. It's far too early to speculate if the cuts had an effect on this fire. What we do know for sure is that the former Mayor Boris Johnson, the now Foreign Secretary, in London alone closed 10 fire stations, removed 600 firefighting jobs and removed 29 fire engines from frontline services. Now, are you telling me that on in the early hours of Wednesday morning, if those extra firefighters, those extra fire stations and fire engines wouldn't have had an effect hmm. and be able to save more people. I'm not going to answer that. I'm going to let your viewers.